So, hey guys, Chelsea here, and today I bring you a new team for Luffy 3 level 5, which requires 6 quick strikers and a smoker. And it's that time of year again, the time of the year when Laboon ship is boosted, arguably the best ship in the game. And it makes a big bit difference in a lot of Grand Voyage because it has a massive 2 times HP boost, no ship can compete with that. And 1.6 times attack, which is not bad, but a bit lower than other modern ships. And it has no utility, which can hurt, but that 2 times HP is what we will make use of here. And just a warning, this is a high invest team. Uh, and the purpose of this team is to make use of Whitebeard without level limit break. So this team actually don't require any level limit break buffs, but as said, a lot of investment. So yeah, as you see, level 1, 10, black Whitebeard, he has no buffs. Uh, so he only removes burn by 4 turns, which we will work around thanks to Laboon. But yeah, basically if you have a lot lower investment than me on these units, just give up on this team. Uh, so this is mainly just a cool way to showcase a new team, the power of Laboon. And if it helps one person, that's cool, I guess. Also, you may, might be a lucky guy to have a friend with a level 150 Roger Odin or something. That will obviously make a big difference. But yeah, let's go through the team. This took a long time to get right and honestly the hard part is stage 1 and 2 and getting enough damage. And before I forget, shout out to Forest Forest because this team is made by him. Link below, go check it out. I've just adapted the team to work with the Laboon ship and non-level limit break Whitebeard. I also got another variant of Forest Forest team coming up and maybe more level 3 Luffy Le uh, Luffy 3 level 5 team, so if you want more content Luffy, Luffy 3 potentially a team you could build if you haven't beat this yet, make sure you subscribe and all of that. I basically never do callouts like that. But, but yeah, uh, the way I hit here was the way that worked for me with my investment. If you have a bit lower than me, but I said not a lot lower than it, this team won't work, then you might have to try some other strategies to hit. For example, maybe hitting earlier with Sabo Ace. I should also say that when I say high investment, I don't really need, mean Sabo Ace. They definitely don't need to be maxed like mine are. But I also can't say what the minimum investment is. Is it level 120 or 130? Maybe even 110? I don't know. I can't test that. So yes, uh, something to keep in mind. Here we're going to bug stall two times. And there's going to be a lot of bug stall in this run, so let me just explain it while we wait. Basically, bug stall is that you initiate an attack on the enemy. You see here, I start attacking with Sabo. And before the animation finishes, I restart the game. This will make uh, one turn pass, but not a real turn, so it doesn't affect the clock. But it does affect stuff like the burn. So you see the burn is just four turns left, which means that non-level limit break whitebeard can remove all of the burn here and another thing that is kept when resetting is super swap gauge so as you can see we've been able to keep increasing the super swap while resetting while well, i only swapped once but it is important for the future of the team and yeah figuring this stage out was hard i needed at least one one orb on one roger and odin so yeah, I was lucky to be able to get that eventually, since that's just warp RNG basically. And yeah, uh, if you lack damage on this particular stage, uh, yeah, not much you can do. This is a bit more tight than I wanted, but I think that if you have the damage to kill the other stage, you shall have enough damage for this one. But it might be orb RNG, like if you get a bad orb on Frank Captain Roger Odin. Not much you can do. But yeah, this stage, I always hate doing this stage with Sabo Ace team since you rely on Sabo Ace Barry Pan taking out Usopp. But as you see, there's harder perfects and 
basically even with my investment level 150 you can't afford hit a great like with my investment you don't have to hit great perfects with everybody but on usop with sabo ace you do need to hit the perfect but i failed so many times in the past on this that i got pretty good at hitting these perfect i've had i've struggled a lot with it in the past sadly and yet this stage is not the reason why it's very nice to have laboon because yeah, we stalled two turns and took like 8k damage in an early stage. But we still need the HP because we're going to do another bug stall here and we're doing it for the Shane attack down. And as I said, this is not a new strat I came up with. Like all strats from now on are strats made by Forest Forest. So again, check out his video. And yeah, now we bug stall one, so I'm going to swap. Sabo Ace to get some color affinity. We use the Ace Jobbers for the 3 turn attack boost. Orb Lock with Perospero. Smoker. Like the Orb boost is nice here, but the main reason we use Smoker is for his immunity. So we don't get any burn final stage. And we don't get any attack down on turn 2. But yeah, I'm sure this stage will be not really possible without the Orb boost either. So yeah, not going to ignore that. But yeah, uh, the strat for final stage is actually quite genius by Forrest. I say that as someone who has spent a lot of time trying to make new teams for this. And I did make the first new team for this Grand Voyage. So I got that going at least. But yeah, the strat here is turn one. You take out Sorrow. I think I don't use the exact same strat as Forrest Forrest. Uh, my strat here is that no matter what, I don't want to hit with my Captain Roger Odin. I want to keep their one orb. So, since Viper is my weakest unit, I just leave, leave it on him. Optimally, I should have ended on the jobbers, but what can you do? And now after this, Luffy still has a 98 turn attack timer and puts up 3 turns of damage limiter. So what you can do is you can freely bug stall now for 3 turns, remove the damage limiter while charging Sabo Ace's super swap. And yeah, since it's a 98 turn timer, it just goes down slowly, so you can bug stall forever basically, which is kind of sick. So now, we, there's no damage limiter, so we can do as much damage as you want. And thanks to Laboon Ship, my level 5 Roger, I can even use Rush now, so this is going to be an incredible overkill. So yeah, Luffy will try and delete our buffs since we changed the orbs, but Roger Odin is immune to that, of course, so we're good. Uh, we get two slot binding units though, but it doesn't matter in terms of damage. And I do hit suboptimally, I should have hit with jobbers now, but yeah, I forgot how Roger Odin rush worked. But yeah, nice extra damage that makes this completely free. So yeah, there's going to be more Luffy tree coming up, I'm sure, so... Subscribe if you don't want to miss out. But with that, I'm taking a rest and the video is done. So, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.